Hi, I'm Mac McCarthy and I help people with their breakups. And today I want to get right into a no contact issue. That's right, no contact because that's probably the most popular video on my channel and that's what's talked about most often. And I had a coaching session about two weeks ago and this guy uh, has emailed me a couple times and he just hit me up with this kind of emergency email and I think I'm going to share it because I think it's going to be an issue with other people in no contact. So it's not, this isn't going to be a long video like some of my other ones. I just want to get to this point real quick and give an example. So he writes blank here again, his name. Just emailed you, but I really need some advice on something that happened tonight. After our coaching session a little over two weeks ago, my ex just contacted me and asked me for her Xbox back and a few of her clothes that are at my house. She texted me about 12.25 a.m., so past midnight, he writes, I'm still up, but I'm not replying until tomorrow. It's been almost a month since I've talked to her. And this again, like three weeks to a month is a time that people usually contact you. It's very common. It's, it's, it's written in books. I don't know how they come across this. I don't know why it is. But I would say between three and five weeks is usually when you'll get a call or someone's fishing around. They're wondering and they're fishing and they don't want to say they care or they miss you because that would be vulnerable. So they have to have an excuse a lot of times. So this is her excuse of contacting you and checking in on you. Obviously, I'm going to give her stuff back. Of course you are. There's no reason to you know, burn her stuff or get rid of her stuff. But I find it weird that she would send the text so late, especially since I went into no contact with her after I told her I wasn't interested in being just friends. Right now, she misses you. Maybe she's been drinking. I'm not sure. You know, whatever it is. But the fact that it's, it's eating her up right now, what you're up to, and that's why she couldn't wait any time longer than it's 1225. What is your take and how should I reply in the morning? So, and he said, obviously, I really wanted to contact her lately. So it was kind of shitty getting this test just now. Uh, and I responded. I said, you know what? I would stay in no contact. And this particular guy, their relationship had a lot of problems. And they need some time to clear some things up. And they were not getting along for a lot of different reasons. And it wasn't a healthy relationship at the end. Um, so they need to dissipate some of those layers of crap. And it's going to take time away from each other. And every time they've gotten back in each other's presence, they usually fight. So this guy needs to stay in no contact as he's been. If she's going to come back to you, it's not because of her getting her ex back in her clothes. She should be saying, I want to talk to you. I want to get back with you. And then he can decide if that's a point he wants to talk to her. But this little hidden agenda where she's going to say, oh, I, I, need some I need some old clothes in my Xbox. Say, oh, no problem. So what I told him, leave him on the porch or take him over to her porch or leave them downstairs and tell her to pick them up in the morning when you're not there. And don't get into verbal contact. Because what she's going to do is she's going to try to create a situation of guilt and manipulation. This, this particular case with this, this ex. And he agreed with me. So I hope he followed through on that. And it will create more mystery for himself of what he's up to. And that he's a strong individual that didn't have to come into contact with her. And he's still giving her clothes and her stuff back. He's not pissed off. He's not angry. He's not being mean. He's just he's busy. He's got things to do, and it's not, it's not in his best interest to get in face-to-face -face contact, nor is it needed, right? It's not needed to put himself in her presence right now to give her stuff back. He's completely in the right to just leave it downstairs and have her pick it up or leave it in the garage and leave the door open, whatever it may be, but he doesn't need to be in the presence. So I hope he followed this advice, and I hope you out there, if you come across something like this in the future, there's a few knickknacks. I've had this question come up before in emails. Um, don't don't fall into that kind of thing. If she she needs to say like I I've really been thinking and I miss you and I really want to talk about things, then you have to decide if you want to. But if it's just like oh I just want some clothes and things at twelve twenty five when it's not convenient to yourself, that's not the answer or the the place. You, that, that you're looking for right now. And she, that's another way of her controlling a little bit of your time. So I hope that helps you out there that are in the no contact, a little snippet, if you will. If you have a breakup story you want to share, please visit rightmac.com or please visit rightmac.com to book a live coaching session.